Hello, welcome to next ale degustation. This time, whiskeys from Lidl's. <clears throat> like you see, I have two bottles. But the focus will be on this one. New Balmer 8 year oak aged whiskey. Blended scotch, 40% uh, this blended scotch whiskey has been expertly created using traditional methods and only the finest ingredients. It mellowed for eight long years in oak casks. This whiskey is smooth with a rich sweetness and depth of flavor, leaving a warm, lingering finish. And littles, nothing more. Right? <clears throat> Simple bottle, nothing interesting, uh, but label is very similar to old Queen Margot, 8 year old. Like you see, there are some differences. Queen Margot is slightly different, slightly higher. Different shape of bottle, it looks much much more interesting. Engraving, a uh, different style of label, but more or less the same design. It says the same, but Queen Margot, also 48%, and <coughs> World uh, Whiskies Award, category and it's winner, right? I think it was 2019 or something like this. And has the same description, exactly. But, says Wallace and the Young uh, Distillers, uh, Glasgow. And Rosen Creek uh, GmbH, next round. Okay, so slightly different, more ornaments, more distinctive uh, details. It looks more glamorous. Exactly, exactly. Look, this is plain, plain, cheaper, easier to to make colors. Uh, similar, right? So let's start from the new batch. I would say. Let's see. I wasn't very pleased with new Balmer uh, plain three-year-old whiskey. Uh, I said that it's <coughs> downgrade from Queen Margot. Similar. Uh, but I'm not buying it anymore. It just don't feel that uh, it's worth to buy. I mean, it's still it's cheap, but for like quit more, uh, I have much more flavor, especially with recent supermarkets uh, discounts, you know. So let's open this one. <clears throat> let's see. <sighs> Alcohol first, and then caramel. <sighs> Light fruitiness. Maybe touch of uh, woodiness and smoky impression, but first it's just alcohol, right? 
in camera. Okay. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Right, I'm not talking about color because <coughs> obviously it is a <coughs> artificial coloring, like caramel, and you can taste caramel uh, in this whiskey. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. First impression is that it's quite bland, but it has the own merits, right? It's quite mild, despite um, quite alcoholic whiff straight away. Caramel some fruitiness, burnt caramel, woodiness. Some tanninic accents, slight uh, smokiness. Then the finish, it's quite nice. Soft. Dark chocolate, slightly bitter. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> the alcohol biting, right? Peppery <laughs> accents uh, are like slightly harsh. After your taste buds adjust, it will be okay, but still you can feel this young alcohol taste. It's not so bad, <coughs> but I think it's closer to New Balmer, a whiskey, than to Queen Marco. Right, okay. Here it is. <coughs> Let's taste the old Queen Margot. Yeah. When I first um, saw Palmer, I've put this bottle. Waiting for 80 year old to emerge. So here it is. <coughs> it was uh, sitting in my cupboard for like months. Eight, nine, I don't know. <coughs> Long time. But it looks much better. Bottle is fantastic. I co well, if you will compare to this plain one, it's something nice. Mmm. Right, okay. <coughs> the color is similar, definitely. Oh. I just it looks like I just want to come back to old old ways, old Queen Margot. Right. Huh <coughs> definitely much milder alcohol wave. Fruity, less caramel, maybe some citrus even. 
woodiness and light smokiness. Pretty nice. Of course, it's not like a mind-blowing aroma, uh, but it's okay. <sighs> Lovely. Yeah, much settled. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's taste it. Smooth, I would say more rounded. You have more woodiness, more tartness. Uh, it is fruity, but not as much. Caramel is like. <clears throat> It's there, but like stage back, uh, hidden a little bit. It is peppery, but not like young alcohol harshness, no. And the finish is soft. Dark chocolate, but it's much milder. It is really soft whiskey. Oh, <clears throat> you know what? This is really enjoyable mm. right let's come back to the new one oh the new one is more fruity definitely more fruity and there's more young alcohol in it Oh yeah, it's like younger alcohol, more, more alcohol, more, uh, how to say it? It's like a young warrior trying to introduce itself uh, on the huge scene, right? So it's bold, strong, uh, <coughs> but we are talking about eight year old aged skin. Right? So, in this perspective, you should look at, you know, experienced, well rounded warrior that it will not fear any opponent, bold, but without any cockiness, right? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a man, respect me, right, because here I am, and here, oh look, I'm big, bold, and I will, like, <clears throat> beat you up, 
this one. This one is rounded, settled, Yeah, definitely the old version was nicer, more uh, enjoyable, definitely. It's very similar, I'm not saying, it's very similar, more or less similar taste and aroma, but this one is like I don't know, you can say um, aged more, more rounded, uh, more enjoyable. This one is still to be served with coke. Definitely. This one as well, but I still prefer the old way. Well, if you had this new whiskey, please let me know in a comment what you think. Not everyone had this opportunity to check them like side by side. But what do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed both of those whiskeys. Please like it, please subscribe to my channel. And when you've done it already, hit the notification button and share of the bell. It will remind you about every new video on the channel, so you will be up to date. And because of this, you will not miss any new degustations. Share this video with your friends. Slanjiva. <laughs>